Okay guys, I wanted to break this up into two different videos. I want to open the package of the frog lube and show you what I got and I'll let you know how much I paid. And then I'm going to do a, gun, um, a video of actually applying and how to treat a gun with the frog lube. So let's go ahead and open this and we'll take a look at what I got. There's several different ways that you can buy this. Uh, several different forms that you can buy this in. You do not have to buy this kit like this if you do not want it. Um, this one here, this kit comes in this plastic tube. So it's kind of handy, keeps everything in one place, and I thought for me that this was the easiest way to go about uh, getting this. You can just buy the liquid or you can just buy the paste, but I'm really hoping this came with the little paintbrush type deal because it showed it in the picture, and if this didn't come with it then uh, <laughs> I'm not going to be real happy about it because I don't think it did either. Okay. Here's the paste, the frog lube paste, and one thing I wanted to do was smell this because it's supposed to smell really good. And they really got this sealed up well. Remember kitties, always cut towards yourself. And uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, that's all right though that it's sealed up good. Okay, I'm going to smell it. Mmm. It has like a Ben Gay, almost like a Ben Gay, wintergreen type smell. Uh, in a way, it kind of reminds me of Skull Dip, the wintergreen. Something like that. From my younger years when <laughs> I tried uh, Skull Dip. It's kind of what it smelled like to me. So there's the paste. And now I'll get the rest of this stuff out. It did come with uh, liquid. Now, by the way, guys, this is the 4-ounce kit. There is one bigger size kit you can get. I believe it's an 8-ounce. This is the liquid. This is what I would run through the barrel in patches to clean the barrels. And uh, that's mostly what I'll use the liquid for is inside the barrel. Or maybe quick touch-ups or, you know, take this to the range with you. The paste is what I'm going to mainly be using to treat, treat the parts of the firearm. Uh, it also came with a microfiber cloth, and yeah, I'm not real happy right now, guys, with this because um, I will be sending a message over. I bought this from a outdoor store that sells items on YouTube, and it did show that it came with the little um, metal-handled paintbrush to put the frog lube on, and it did not. It also showed that it came with this, so... It should have had both things in there, and it doesn't. So that's kind of disappointing because I looked through the ads until I found one that showed that it came with that little paintbrush. So I guess I'm going to have to make do and uh, use this guy here. Hopefully it'll work just as well. Who knows? I'd rather have the paintbrush, though, or the brush that's kind of like a paintbrush. So there's the kit, guys. This ran me about... Uh, I think it was $32, and there was shipping added to that. This stuff isn't real cheap, okay? But, I mean, this paste, I should have no problem uh, doing every gun of mine that I want to and still having uh, a lot left over for later uses on the gun. But I'll get into more about uh, how you're supposed to treat the gun and how many times uh, as I do the firearm. The one that I'm going to be doing first here is the Springfield XDS. I need to degrease this and I'm going to uh, treat it with the frog lube um, inside and out of the slide and all the metal parts. So that should be pretty interesting to see that get done. It'll be my first gun that I'm doing with the frog lube and uh, we'll talk a lot about it as I go through the video and it's the video is going to be pretty highly edited so that you don't have to sit through the whole process. And there's one point where you have to wait for an hour for this stuff once you have it painted on, so to speak. The paste, you have to let it dry. So that'll be my next video coming up, is how to frog lube your gun. All right, guys, until next time, this is H4T, and I am...